and money was pouring in, and the school's test grades were higher than ever. No one was complaining. Even the teachers were shocked with the kids' performance. This was, of course, all resulting from our business deals. Selling test answers to kids for cheap. We give them what they want, they give us what we want. And that's cold hard cash. But the bad thing about a good thing is people always want to get involved. Before we knew it, we had two local bozos, Tom and Larry, who decided to try to undermine us. Tom and Larry had been two of our customers. They had been pretty loyal, but that all changed real fast. One week, they never paid us back for history answers. Week after week went by, we went back in time and again to collect our debts. And week after week, they had excuses. But we knew we couldn't let this slide. We had the reputation to uphold. And we couldn't look like a bunch of softies. We had to take care of the problem. And there was only one way to do it. We didn't want to have to kill them, but it was the only way we had to handle the situation. And we had to catch them when they were least expecting it. What better way to do it with a history textbook on their way to their class? Boom.